Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Jason Crab Show. Today is going to be a little different. Uh, this show uh, is, you know, we've had some great guests on in the past, some wonderful guests, and we are so thankful for our guests. We've got some special guests uh, that is coming up uh, that we're very excited about that we want to tell you about, but we're going to let it be a surprise. We're going to, you know, we're going to tell it uh, through the week, maybe even give you some hints, let, let you guess what's, what's to come. But tonight, and uh, we wanted to do things a little different tonight. Uh, we wanted to do it uh, just, just crab, you know, Hey, just me. Right. So what we're going to do is we want you to uh, maybe think of a question or two. Uh, number one, we want you to share this, hit the share button. Uh, we're going to be uh, uh, singing a little bit. We're going to be uh, uh, reading uh, out of God's word a little bit. We're going to be sharing. Uh, we're going to be answering a few questions. Uh, so for the next 30 uh, minutes, I'm going to uh, light my candle out here on the back deck. And I'm going to sit out here and I'm going to read and I'm going to sing, and we are going to have a wonderful, wonderful time. I don't know if you've ever uh, had one of these candles before, but I'm telling you, it is amazing. Even outside, it's wonderful. Uh, I like to light them outside. I've got a little table out here set. Uh, got my pillows, my throw pillows on the Shelly then got us some new throw pillows. Look, it says, be happy. Hey, and she got us a crab. She buys all kinds of crab pillows. She loves crab pillows. Uh, so anyway, that is so much fun. Ain't nobody do me like Jesus. Oh, and that's the truth. Ain't nobody do me like Jesus. Uh, let me let me uh, share this real fast. Let me read this scripture, and then we're going to uh, maybe play a song. I'm going to tell you about something that happened this week. Tell you about a few things that's coming up. Uh, let's do this. Tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Central Time. Let me tell you something. The first time the band is getting back together to do a concert, live concert with full band, www.godsy.media. Hope Sings. Uh, it's going to be at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. 6 p.m. Central. I'm telling you, listen, listen to me when I tell you this. Listen real good. You do not want to miss this one. I promise you, you don't want to miss this. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time. We have some great things in store lined up. Um, we're also, uh, you know, going to um, maybe even put some requests out there. Uh, see what you want to hear, and uh, maybe send that in as well. So, so go ahead and and uh, go ahead and do that. Get your tickets for it. It's tomorrow. Look, people. Some people are still a little quarantine uh, nervous. You know what I'm saying? And we already had this thing scheduled. Uh, so we want to do it. It's a great thing that uh, uh, Godsey Scott Godsey had been uh, putting on to get concerts to people that were a little nervous about getting out. And then also when we were quarantined, we couldn't get out. So the music still uh, came forth. Now, all right, everybody's been telling me, Jason, I really love that long hair. I like it. It's looking good. Hey, we letting it grow out. I'm going to go ahead and tell you we letting it grow out. Yes, we are. Anyway, all right, so get your tickets for that. Hello from the UK. Please sing Sometimes I Cry. Oh, God bless you. Um, also, let me tell you this. Thank you so much for joining uh, from the UK. We love it. Uh, we love y'all. Let me tell you about three dates that's coming up this month. I just said it. Three dates. Hey, look, we did one at the barn, the Blue Pond, up, up in Sylvania, uh, Alabama, uh, with my good friends. I love them so very much. The Wiggly family, we love them. And we are so thankful for them. They gave me my first concert out. Isn't that wonderful? Um, helped me um, 
you know, when all this went, went on, they said, look, we want to help you. What can we do? And I'm going to tell you something. We love that family so very much. And uh, there's revival that's taking place on that hill up there at the barn. And y'all don't want to miss Sunday nights. It's a lot of fun. And uh, so here we go. So Westmoreland, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, Westmore Church of God, Westmore Church of God uh, on the 21st, Westmore Church of God. I had to watch it because there's a Westmoreland right up the road from here. It's Westmore Church of God in Cleveland at 10. Uh, we are going to be doing the Sunday morning service. And let me tell you something. It's going to be a celebration. Are you kidding me? We're going to be singing with the choir. Concert 20 on the 22nd. We're going to be there. And we don't want you to miss that. Uh, also on the 27th, Tabernacle at PM, we're going to be at Gadden, Alabama, the Tabernacle. That is on the 27th at 6 p.m. Yes. I am telling you about dates, about going back out on the road. Look, there's the fly right there. Hey, we're good. We're headed back out on the road. There's the fly right there. There it is. Look, the tabernacle, Gadsden, Alabama. Yes. Hallelujah. All right, let me read you this. This is from Isaiah. I'm going to tell you this. Listen to me. I grabbed my Bible and opened it up. And this is where it just opened up to. I want you to listen to this. Woo. Behold my servant who I uphold. Uh, this is Isaiah 42. Mine elect in whom my soul delighteth. I put my him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not cry nor uh, cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed shall not break, and the smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. He shall not fail nor be discouraged till he have set judgment into in the earth. And the owl shall wait for his law. Hmm. Thus saith God the Lord, he that created the heavens and stretched them out, he that spread forth the earth and that which cometh out of it. He that giveth breath unto the people unto it and spirit to them that walk therein. I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness and will hold thine hand. I will keep thee and give thee for a covenant of the people for a light of the Gentiles. To open the blind eyes to bring out the prisoners from the prison. And them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. I am the Lord, that is my name. And my glory will I not give to another. Ooh. Images. Behold, the former things are come to pass and new things do I declare before they spring forth i tell you of them sing unto the lord a new song and his praise from the end of the earth ye that go down to the sea and all that is therein the isles and the inhabitants thereof let the wilderness and the cities thereof lift up their voice the village uh kadar doth inhabit let the inhabitants of the of the rock sing, let them shout from the top of the mountains. And then let me just skip on down. And I will bring the blind by a way that they knew not. I will lead them in paths that they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked things straight. These things will I do unto them and not forsake them. Isn't that wonderful? Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. You want a blessing? Go ahead and open the book of Isaiah chapter number 42 and read that. And let that be a blessing to you. And I'm going to tell you, we are living in, to, in some crazy, 
crazy times. But I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to declare something right now. I'm going to declare that Jesus Christ is alive. I'm going to declare that God is on the throne. I'm going to declare right now that 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 faith and great things are, are taking place right here on this earth. How do I know that? Because, look, when it seems like there is darkness, Jesus shines the brightest of lights. And so I'm excited about what's to come. I'm excited about getting back out on the road. I'm excited about sharing the message and the hope of Jesus Christ. Because I'm like Paul, what else can I sing about? What else can I talk about except the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ that gave his all for you and I? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you something. He is alive. He is the answer. When we don't know our way, the Bible and Proverbs tells us, Proverbs 3, said, in all thy ways acknowledge him and he would direct thy path. Lean not into thine own understanding. Be not wise in thine own eyes, the scripture tells us. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he will direct us. Boy, I'm going to tell you, uh, that's where we need to be right now. Um, I felt like saying this today, and I think somebody might need to hear this, because, you know, I'm gonna, I, I want to tell this, uh, in, and I hope you take this in, in, in the right way. But be careful. I heard somebody say this the other day. Um, and I think it's I think it's very wise. What you don't say, you don't have to explain. What you do not say, you don't have to explain. In other words, if you if you are uncertain uh, of of facts or things, um, be careful. Okay. And I, I was I was wanting to tell you this. Look. Uh, uh, what you have to say sometimes might come from the best of heart, but sometimes people are not going to know your heart. And um, that, that's sad, but, but it's true. And so be careful. Be wise before you speak. Um, be cautious. And I was going to share that today. And I hope that that's okay not to share your heart. And uh, I'm just telling you, be cautious be wise and make sure uh, that it is uplifting to people. Uplift people. Love them. Let me tell you something. Love. Love your brother. Love your you, those around you. Love your neighbor. Love everyone. We are called to love, period. Um, we're not called, called to argue our points of view. We're called to love and that's what jesus instructed us to do anyway all right so uh i think we have a few questions as some of you uh asked some questions um let's see some of those questions let me let me just show you this right here i'm gonna show you this name and i hope you can see it see this name right here right there my buddy jimmy caps i have played the Grand Ole Opry with him almost every time that I've played the Opry, Jimmy Caps has been there. He was uh, a lot of, almost every time he was uh, the band leader. Uh, he stood back in the corner and directed and got everything together and Jimmy Caps went home and uh, Michelle, uh, we love you so very much. You're talking about two people that I love dearly that made me feel so welcome is Michelle and Jimmy uh, there at the Grand Ole Opry. And I have this guitar. A lot of you might know Jimmy Caps as uh, the guitar player at the Grand Ole Opry, but also people know him as the sheriff on Larry's Country Diner. And then we did that um, um, show uh, in Nashville uh, that, that is called... Uh, Wednesday night prayer meeting. And I'm telling you, uh, it was awesome. And I had everybody that was there to sign my guitar. Look at this. Let me show you this right here. Look, there's Randy Travis. Uh, let's see. This is kind of difficult. Right there, Randy Travis. Uh, so many others. William Lee Golden. Uh, Reba McIntyre uh, is signed the back right here. Um, Amy Grant. 
everybody signed this guitar. Anyway, so I thought, you know what? I got this guitar down off the wall. A lot of people remember I played this and we did, uh, we did working on a building. But today, somebody asked for this song. People said I would never make it. Said I'd never see it through. They don't know what keeps me going. I guess they never have made you. No, my life was in shambles till the day you came along turned my tears into laughter Lord you gave me a brand new song I'm still holding on Lord, I'll never let you go. Cause you gave me a smile. You touched my heart, you touched my soul. And the bridges that's behind me, I had to burn them to the ground. I'm still holding on. You're the best thing I ever found. The bridges that's behind me. I had to burn them to the ground. I'm still holding You're the best thing I ever found. Yes, Lord, I'm still holding on. You're the best thing I ever found. I'm still holding on. Yes, 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 yes. Had to pull the guitar down that had Jimmy Camps' uh, autograph. We love you, uh, Jimmy. 61 years of playing the Grand Ole Opry stage. Uh, played on songs uh, like Amarillo by Morning. He Stopped Loving Her Today. Oh, my goodness. So many, 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 many songs. A Smoky Mountain Range um, by Ronnie Millsap. Oh, my goodness. Just uh, Reba McIntyre. Um, just a lot. I know I'm singing with you, Brother Jason. God bless you. Thank you so very much. Uh, I, got, I brought another guitar out because, you see, uh, that one right there uh, cracked on me. And this is a neat little guitar. Uh, a friend of mine has let me borrow it. And I'm going to tell you something. It's a great guitar. It's called a warrior guitar. And it's about the same size. Going old school. One of my all-time favorites is Please Forgive Me. I can do that one, too, if you want me to. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to sing too much because some of you won't turn uh, come in tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to be at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. <laughs> Uh, we're going to be doing some old songs and some new songs. Oh, look at there. Amanda Kaysen or The Lighthouse. Uh, devil, not today. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hey, uh, we, we, um, we want you to tune in tomorrow. Tomorrow at 7. You can get your tickets at uh, Godsey. 
information. I think it's going to pull up here in just a minute right there. Band. Look, a lot of people have done some of these but have not done the full band. But we're doing the full band. And I'm going to tell you something. You get ready because they are pumped and excited to be playing. So that's tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Central Time. And uh, we're going to be the 21st. We're going to be at Westmore Church of God at 10. In uh, the 22nd and the 27th, we're going to be out on the road. But here's the deal. A lot of you can't come to that. Or uh, some of you are still in quarantine. And we want you to watch this. Doesn't matter if you can come to it or don't. Uh, we have lost a lot. A lot of dates. I'm telling you. Uh, it's the craziest thing just bought a brand new bus and this hits um to be honest it's it's and i'm not singing a sad song at all because uh my lord has taken care of us and he's uh, he's making a way and he's made a way with concerts like this and 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 friends and people that love us and, and care for us so when you buy a ticket for uh this concert uh, that you can watch there in your home, uh, then you are helping us and um, and supporting us as well. So we love you. And God bless you. And we thank you uh, for doing that. Now, I'll do a verse in the course of it if you don't mind. Let's see. This is, oh, this is uh, a guitar called the Warrior Guitar. All of the wood is anointed. Uh, with oil prayed over. Uh, these guitars are played, uh, the wood is played to as it's being made with worship music. I'm telling you what, it's amazing. Amazing. My sleep is gone, my heart is full of sorrow. I can't believe how much I've let you down. I dread the pain that waits for me tomorrow When the sun reveals my broken dreams Scattered on the ground Please forgive me I need your grace and make it through All I have is you I'm at your mercy Lord, I'll serve you until my dying day. Help others find a way out your mercy. Please forgive me. Lord, please forgive me. I'm playing these songs and the birds are coming up. I'm telling you, they, they ride out here. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But anyways, uh, we are having a wonderful time out here on the back porch. And uh, we are loving it. And thank you so very much for tuning in. We'd love for you to share this uh, as well. Hit the share button and hit the like button. I love it. Please forgive me. Thanks so much. Saying that song when I was in junior high. For our school television. Oh my goodness, Kelly, that's awesome. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna tell you, uh, time flies, it goes fast. But uh, I wanted to um, let you ask a few questions. Now I'm gonna pick my phone up. I hope that's okay. That way I can just kind of kick back here. And I want you to ask some questions, maybe some questions that you've been wanting to ask. And uh, we're just going to uh, go with that. and and see uh let's see hey jason hope i get a chance to see you in the crab family and concert someday from saint john new brunswick canada Woof, man i'm gonna tell you what we would love to come to, to new brunswick we'd love to come up to canada uh sometime maybe the crab family can do that we used to come up there when we toured together uh a lot you are my favorite gospel singer oh you are the sweetest ever i just want you to know that thank you so very much 
uh, any questions, any questions, anybody got any questions, anything that you want to ask? I have only heard when I turned to you twice and had to order soundtrack to get it. Love it. Will it be available on CD soon? Yes, it will. Uh, last night I finished, um, let's see, how do I put this? We got the final mix. Let me put this back down. I think it's better when I just don't hold anything. So last night we were fixing up a couple of things, um, you know, and um, where's my cowboy hat? Let me tell you something. Thank you for saying that, um, JC. Uh, I'm going to get me a cowboy hat. hat on. Don't you worry. Uh, the other one was um, uh, my dear friend, uh, Jimmy Uri's. And he wouldn't let me have it. So I'm going to have to find me a good cowboy hat. But anyway, uh, we finished it up a couple of things. Um, and there's going to be a deluxe version of that record, which has the song When I Turn to You. And then a new single called Your Help is on the Way. And then we uh, got another song. It's got three uh, new songs uh, on it. There's another song that me and my brothers sang together. And I'm telling you, it's something that we've wanted to do for a minute. So I'm excited about that. What's your favorite song to sing? Oh my goodness. Well, my favorite gospel song to sing has to be Many times a question for certain circumstances, things I could not understand. Many times in trials, weakness blurs my vision. It's when my frustration gets so out of hand. It's when I am reminded never been forsaken I've never had to stand one test alone it's when I look at all the victories I'm reminded that all God has done for me and it's through the fire my weakness it's made strong he never promised cross would not get heavy, the hill would not be hard to climb. Never offered the dreams without fighting, he said help would always come in time. Remember when you're standing Just hold on, my Lord will show up. He will take you through the fire again. Now, tomorrow you can hear the rest of it with a full band, all right? Look, tomorrow we're going to be doing that 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Central Time. Listen. You got to come get your ticket right now. Go to Godsey Media. Everybody share that. Share it, share it, share it, share it. Let me tell you something. Uh, it's been it's been a long couple of months not being out on the road. Uh, and uh, man, I'm just so thankful that uh, we all get to come together and do this. Uh, tomorrow, uh, live concert online with a band. Oh, yeah. And they are pumped. So you get ready, okay? Get your tickets and be a part of it. And, and uh, we'll see you on there, okay? So, uh, all right, let's see. We've got some more questions coming in. Who is your favorite Bible character? Wow. Oh, my goodness. Um, that's a hard one, you know. Um, I think there's something to be said about um, Daniel, 
I think is a very powerful uh, character. Also, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, uh, very powerful uh, characters in the Bible. David has always been one of my very favorites. Paul, uh, one that I love. I love his personality. Uh, probably would be Peter because um, Peter is one of those that is is gung-ho. He's, he's so excited. He's And then the next minute, you know, he's just made a mess. And uh, so, you know, I love Peter. And of course, you know, Jesus, right? Uh, I, I love uh, Ruth. Um, Jeremiah. Um, oh, Elisha. Yeah. Elisha was a, it, you know, I was just talking about a story of, with Elisha. He, you know, he had that double portion anointing, you know. And so I love that. We uh, preached on that up at the barn in Sylvania there uh, at the Blue Pond. And uh, just a very powerful story. Okay, so what is your most embarrassing moment ever? <laughs> well, I don't know if I could share all of those. Uh, there's a lot of embarrassing moments. Um, but anyway, uh, one that I remember. We were a part of the services that were going on at Restoring Hope, at Overflow. And, man, it was powerful. Uh, uh, one of the speakers there was just, I mean, speaking to so many people in, you know, prophetic words over their life. Ricky Skaggs was in the audience and... and um, Danny Goki was there, and uh, Karen Harding was singing. Danny came up and grabbed the microphone, and then Aaron mentioned, motioned for me to come up and sing. And I went to step up on the stage instead of using the steps in my pants. I split them from for, for a long ways. Let's just put it like that. Okay, so that was embarrassing. And uh, what's your favorite childhood memory? Oh my goodness. My favorite childhood memory. I got a lot of them. I really do. I wish I could say this was, this is one, but you know, there's one that sticks out in my head. But honestly, I was a blessed young man. Uh, we didn't have a lot growing up, but uh, we were very, very, very blessed. And I'm um, so thankful you know, for my upbringing, because I uh, just wouldn't trade it for nothing in the world. I had a lot of great people around me. And so um, there was a lot of great memories, a lot of good ones. Um, probably singing on the, um, oh my goodness, convention stage for the very first time it was really cool. What artist would you like to record with that you haven't yet? Man, I would love to do a gospel record like a Christian, like a, um, a gospel gospel record. I'd love to pick some musicians out uh, to play on it and love to do that, that record um, in a neat way, you know. So I'd love to get like um, some players like Eric Clapton. Um, Derek Trucks, um, Bonnie Ray, um, Susan Tedeschi to come in and, and then also grab a hold of, uh, some of, some of the, um, singers that I love soulful voices as well to grasp a hold of this and, and just get together and do a great big, um, gospel record. I'm talking about like one where you roll the windows down and you go for a while. You know what I'm saying? 
you don't want to quit driving because you don't want to quit listening, you know, and roll the windows down and play it for everybody. That kind of record, you know, John Mayer even coming to play or something and uh, that feel, you know. So um, I think that that would be neat uh, to do, uh, do a Christian record, be over it, be in charge of it. You know what I mean? And, and create that. I think it would be a lot of fun, especially with musicians uh, like that as well. So uh, do you like to cook? If so, what is your specialty? I'm going to tell you something. Um, I love to cook. I'm not really all that good at it. I do a shrimp bowl. Uh, that's a lot of fun. I try to cook fried chicken. Um, Mike Boland is great at frying chicken. Um, I cooked breakfast this morning, and it's funny. I cooked breakfast, got up, went to the store, got all the stuff that I needed to cook, fix breakfast, cooked it, and one person ate it, my wife. One person. And we had kids. There was all, all the girls, his friends was over, just a bunch of kids, and so anyway. It's crazy, but uh, but little Penny liked it. How old were you when you sang on the stage of the Billy Graham revival? Oh, well, just depends on which one. I sang at the last crusade in New York, which was a lot of fun. Enjoyed that so very much. Had a good time doing that. Uh, hundred and I think it was 114,000 people there. Uh, with the Brooklyn Tabernacle Choir, also joined by uh, other members of uh, other choirs, different churches. We sang a song called I'm Amazed. Man, I'm telling you what. I got to sit on stage and listen to uh, Dr. Billy Graham uh, preach a message. We will know the signs of the times as compared to the days of Noah. And his hair, his white hair was blowing in the wind. And I'm like, this is a modern day Moses standing up on stage instructing us, you know, and uh, what a what a blessing uh, to have gotten to do that. And so that was amazing. And I couldn't tell you how old I was during that time, but it's it's been a while. Where are your. Hoodie, what are your hoodie hobbies? Oh, my goodness. I need my glasses. Hello. What are your hobbies, it says. At first, when I looked down there, I thought it said, where are your hoodies? <laughs> I said, man, it's too hot. Uh, I love, I'm going to be honest, I love to spend time with my girls, period. Uh, love to write with um, Ashley and, and writers. I love to write tomorrow, uh, right here on this deck. We'll probably be uh, writing uh, with a, a good friend of mine by the name of Tony Woods. And he's going to be here uh, tomorrow. We're going to be riding. So I love doing that. Uh, also, uh, Emma plays ball. So I love basketball. Uh, you know, love to hunt. I love to get out in the woods. It's a wonderful time. And would love to hear you sing with Bonnie Ray. I'm telling you, I think that we would do an incredible version of Amazing Grace, singing and playing guitar together. Um, I just think that it would be fun and and get to handpick some other musicians. Oh, God, what a dream that would be. So we might just have to do that. Call it like Jason Crabb and Friends. You know what I'm saying? A uh, place you've never sang that you want to sing someday. I can answer that right now. Austin City Limits. I grew up listening to Austin City Limits, watching it on TV. Um, we got the uh, educational television program. We had two channels, Channel 13 and then another one. And Austin City Limits would come on. And I would hear, uh, oh, great, great performances uh, by so many of my favorite artists, um, friends now that uh, I remember um, Restless Heart was on there one time. And now we're, we're friends now. Uh, Exile was on there at one time. I watched them and uh, Steve Warner, uh, him and his brother were on there playing uh, together, which was so neat. And uh, 
I've watched, you know, and so, so many others. I mean, and I would love to, to step on that stage and say Stevie Ray Vaughan played there. Um, um, I think even I saw CC Winans uh, play there one time. So love to do um, Austin City Limits. Uh, will you be writing more children's books? <laughs> well, they might be specialty books. I don't know. Maybe like a, a, a Christmas book or something like that might be kind of cool. So uh, anyways, we we sure do. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I don't want you to forget tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, we're going to be doing a live, live concert. And we don't want you to miss that. It's Godsee.media. Hope Sings. And I'm going to tell you, I know that you've seen some of these concerts, but I'm telling you this. We put the band together for this one and get ready. It's going to be wonderful. They are excited. It's going to be a great time. Again, uh, we are praying for the Caps family. Uh, we love them. Uh, great, great, great people. Michelle, uh, I don't, I don't know if you'll see this or not, but we sure do love you, and you are the, uh, you are the sweetest person, uh, I think that I've ever met, and uh, just absolutely love y'all, and we are praying for you and praying for your family. Uh, I'm gonna tell you, uh, you know, it, uh, it's amazing. We, I went to the, to uh, the funeral, and. Uh, they were getting ready to start uh, the ceremony and um, and they said uh, he had got his stage final stage call and so it was really really a, a, a celebration a great singing uh, what a wonderful uh, the Isaacs the whites uh, saying Ricky Skaggs uh, saying Connie uh, she saying we love Connie so very much uh, but anyways God bless y'all with uh, also, I want to say this, uh, Sharon Walker's father, uh, Sharon is a great friend of ours. Her father is in the hospital. Um, her son uh, had to, um, was with them and had to uh, do CPR on him for a while. But um, it's, it's amazing how the steps that he is making. So uh, be in prayer for him. Uh, there's so many others. Uh, be in prayer for us. Be in prayer for our country. Be in prayer for those that um, are, um, can, you know, people are, are, are nervous and confused and, and distraught. Uh, there's a lot of uh, fear and anxiety in this world right now. But I'm going to tell you that Jesus Christ is alive. And I'm telling you, God is on the throne, period. God is on the throne. And he's got you and he loves you and he cares for you. Let me tell you how I know you're going to be all right. Here's how I know this. Because, let me tell you, the king of glory doesn't do anything halfway. He does it right, and he gives his best. He sent his best to die on Calvary. He gave his best so that you and I could have life and live it to the fullest. So, ladies and gentlemen, look. I know that voice. I know who he is. And I know what he's trying to do. But can I tell you something? He gave us all for you. And he loves you. And he cares about how you're feeling, where you're at, and what's going on in your life. So hold on. Cling to the cross. And hold on to the promises of God as he holds on to you. He's got you. Thank you so very much for tuning in to the Jason Crab Show. And I can't wait till next Thursday. You get ready. We are excited. Tomorrow, we will see you tomorrow. Full concert. Full concert. Share this right now. Share it. Go get your tickets. And we'll see you tomorrow. God bless.